NE Engineering in Norwich have just invested in their first Matsura MX330. After training on day one, we put the machine on, on full run and it ran through the night first time. We run multiple parts on a pallet at any one time and there's no additional programming involved. We bought the Matsura with no specific contracts in place. Um, we just backed ourselves to fill it and we're already looking at another one. I'm Daniel Clements, uh, Commercial Director of NE Engineering and we are a diverse subcontract machine and facility that specialise in precision products. So we first see this machine quite a few years ago. Um, we dealt with Dom uh, in a previous existence. So we knew quite a long while ago we wanted to do a Matsura MX330. Fits perfect with where our business is right now. It gives us the diverse product mix that we can multi-pallet using multiple parts at any one time. Unmanned running basically, that's what we're looking for. And to have that flexibility. We treat the, the machine like a vendor machine really. So we pick and choose which parts we want at different points in the day to fit our capacity and our customers' expectations. The view of the machine is such, it can do absolutely anything you throw at it. So it varies from small batches, one-offs, to a large batch, 5,000 off. It really, anything you throw at it, it can, it's capable of, of machining. Typically on our existing three axis machines, we were two weeks to make one batch. We now do the parts in three days and it completely eliminates any manhandling and deburring and, and several other operations. It's increased our turnover, our efficiency, our, our productivity, the quality. Because everything's done in one hit, it's, you have no issues with anything when it comes off the machine. The reason we bought the Matsura is to run through the night, the unmanned running and the efficiency gains are there. So what we put in place is things like the rim system runs, so all of the rim system monitors all the tooling, tells us when the life is up, when we use to use sister tooling. We put tool breakers in place, so if the tool is broken, it can then use the software to determine what pallet it can do next. And we put in-process in inspection in place so that if, if things fall out of tolerance, we can rework them, and it, it just doesn't stop them. So at any engineer, we, we, we focus strong on, on customer saturation. We don't want anyone to be more than 30% of our turnover. So uh, the introduction of MX330 was to, uh, to diversify the business and introduce any the new customers in industries we never considered before, aerospace, oil and gas, it just opens up so many doors for us. I think with the, uh, the MX330, the price range, is, it's made it so competitive that small businesses like any engineering uh, can justify the cost. It's still an expensive investment, but with the efficiency gains, you can, you can justify the extra expense and it, it transformed the business so we can move forwards and, and, and look to the future rather than competing with everyone with three axis machines and manpower, this just is too competitive the market.